Here he comes She up Shaboom When he strolls in An old time feeling Warms up the room He's Like many things in my life, nepotism brought me to this stage. But nepotism didn't bring my father here. Talent, hard work, determination, and excellence brought him here. I've been fortunate enough to have worked with him as well as travel with him to trustee meetings over the years. There's no doubt that my father is deserving of this honor. Whether it's been directing live events, working commercials, or navigating the Game of Thrones style politics that come with the trustee meetings, I'm very grateful to have been a part of that with you. I've always admired and envied my father's work ethic. I've never met anyone in my life that can match it. No one can run circles around this man. Dad, you deserve this. Me, Mom, all the kids, we love you. Emmy Award winner Alan Morris has mastered virtually every part of the television industry. His interest in show business developed at the age of five when he was given a marionette to play with. During their childhood, Alan and his twin sister Myra were hired to perform puppet shows at other children's birthday parties. When they started high school in 1969, they operated puppets on Through Magic Doorways. That's when my television career began. By the time I was 17, I was directing the news. I drive Ford pickup because my daddy told me they're built tough. Right, daddy? Right. After and graduating from Stephen F. Austin State University, Ellen right, was immediately yep. hired at KDOG in Houston. The first national commercial he edited right, won the Clio. Yeah. My daddy came to Texas in a covered wagon. I had to learn about Ford on my own. I'm a smart old boy, ain't I? <laughs> Within a year, Alan convinced the management at KDOG to let him produce a pilot for a sitcom, They'd Hang You in Nashville. I took it to Grant Tinker in Hollywood, and what I had thought was very funny was not funny at all. Tinker suggested that I drop my pilot into the Los Angeles River on my way out of town. But then he spent two hours giving me the best advice of my life on how to succeed in this business. Returning to Houston, Ellen was busy producing an all-night movie show, Pause for the Night, that featured celebrity interviews, live comedy sketches, and musical performances. So I keep holding on I see the blind love blue Metro Media purchased KDOG and changed the call letters to KRIV. Allen's next assignment was traveling with the Astros, producing games for Major League Baseball. Throughout the remainder of the 80s, Allen spent much of his time producing music videos for various up-and-coming performers. He and a partner formed Belay Media in 1998. Belay Media gave Alan the opportunity to concentrate on making documentaries, examining important topics in depth, making films that he felt could have an impact on the lives of the viewers who saw them. His work was rewarded with many of the most prestigious awards the industry offered, including several regional Emmy Awards. His first national Emmy Award was for a feature called The Night the Rains Came about the devastation wrought on Houston by Tropical Storm Allison in 2001. Right now I'm working on a project with Bill Millett called Star Film Ranch. It's about the very first movie studio in Texas. The Western movie genre, as we know it today, had its beginning in San Antonio at Star Film Ranch from 1910 until 1911. The company recently used the set that John Wayne built on Happy Shahan's ranch in Brackettville to shoot a recreation of the star film crew making their movie. It's in the part of me that was you. 
In recognition of a half century contributing to the television industry, it is with great pleasure that the Lone Star Chapter of the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences proudly inducts Alan Morris into the Gold Circle. Here he comes, the Sheik of Shaboom. When he strolls in, an old time feeling warms up the room. He's a blast from the past, a man made to last. So, boys, do a tune for the Sheik of Shaboom. I'm here tonight to make a confession for a mortal sin I committed 16 years ago. I was nominated for an Emmy, and my wife asked me if we were going to go to the award show, and I said no. Every time I go to those things, I don't win. To which she responded, it's always great to be nominated. It's such an honor. And it is. It is a great honor. And I'm very grateful. And I'm very grateful to have had a career. But I made a big mistake when we went to New York. She talked me into going. We went. Lo and behold, my category came up. And they read my name. My son was sitting on my left and started punching me. My wife was punching on the other side and said, it's you, it's you, get up, go. So I got up and I went. I got up to the podium and I made the best acceptance speech anyone has ever made. Except I didn't mention my wife. <laughs> that is a mistake I will not make again. Nina, you have been a part of my career for more than half of the 50 years that we're celebrating this evening. Without you, I have no career. I love you. 50 years is a long time and it's been a great career. It has allowed me to see the world. I've met presidents, heads of state, criminals, sometimes the same person. <laughs> I've worked with a lot of celebrities. Orson Welles was fortunate enough once to work for me and narrated one of my films. It has been a great career for which I am most grateful and by no means is it over. I'm working on Star Film Ranch right now down in San Antonio. <laughs> However, I've got a little advice for you youngsters in the room, because you all outnumber us now. So do your best work possible. Earn the recognition that your work will certainly deserve. More importantly, Savor every day. Be grateful for every day you have in this business because, believe me, 
50 years goes by very quickly. Thank you. Solid gold, the sheik of Shabu.